B Marsh Boxing back at it with another post fight review, and this was a fight on um, a 10 rounder fight in Las Vegas between Ishe Smith versus um, Julian J. Rock Williams. Ishe Smith from Las Vegas versus the Philly kid, Julian J. Rock Williams. This was a good fight right here, you know. I didn't make a prediction about this fight, you know what I mean? This fight was basically under the radar, but if I did, I ain't gonna lie, I would have picked um, Julian J. Rock Williams. You check it, but um, Ishe Smith, man, this guy's a tough competitor, you know. He might not be the flashiest, he not, might not be the most exciting fighter, and he might he just might not be the fighter you're checking for, you know what I mean? But Ishe Smith, for a guy who's 39 years old, a man who only been dropped once in his career in 15 years, plus the man uh, when he fought, was it uh, Vannis Martirosin? He came to fight tonight, you know what I mean? And um, the first three rounds I gave it to uh, Julian J. Rock Williams. Round two, actually, J. Rock Williams headbutted, accidental headbutt. Um, Ishe Smith on the left eye, and he was bleeding from the t uh, the top of the left eye. You know what I mean? But with that with that being said, the man um, Ishe Smith he turned it up. You know what I mean? Ishe Smith is a very underrated body puncher. His body attack was uh, on point, and so is Julian Re Julian J Rock Williams. You know, and the the rounds that I seen Julian J Rock Williams um, winning, he was actually pumping out his jab, landing flush one twos. And, I, and throwing combinations, you know what I mean? If he throws a four-shot combination, he'd land at least three or four of them. You know what I mean? <clears throat> the hand speed was definitely in favor of the man Julian J. Rock Williams, but that did not deter the man um, Ishe Smith. Ishe Smith just kept working the body, working the body, and counterpunching, you know what I mean? Got to the point where um, he, Julian J. Rock Williams was not even reluctant to throw his jab over the top because... Um, What's his name? Ishe Smith was counterpunching him over the top with a right hand punch, you know what I mean? He even rocked this man's jaw one time in the later rounds, and Julian J. Rock Williams did, you know, you could tell he was hurt, you know what I'm saying? Because he tried to go for the clinch. Uh, what round was that? I believe round seven or something. Julian J. Rock Williams tried to go for the clinch, and Ishe Smith wasn't having that. He threw him to relentless combinations and caught Ishe. And caught on um, Julian Williams with some nice punches in between, you know. All in all, the best punches in this fight could have gone either way. But the ones that did hurt the opponent bad, in my opinion, landed from Ishe Smith. Sure, they were far and few in between, you know. But, you know, he had to have good punch placement in order to actually catch this man, you know what I mean? And so, and same way for Julian J. Rock Williams. Ishe Smith is not an easy target to hit. In my opinion, I think Ishe Smith's de defense is better than J. Rock Williams, you know what I mean? Because J. Rock Williams was getting caught with very telegraphed punches that you could see from a mile away. You check it, especially with the counter punches over the top from Ishe Smith, you know? But, um, for, oh man, the scoring in this fight was ferocious was horrendous man you know what i mean they had scores like 91 98 97 92 what fight were they watching man i had this fight 95 95 five rounds apiece a draw you know what i'm saying i had a draw in this fight straight up and down you know what i mean i had um Ishe smith winning the um, rounds he, he, i had julian williams winning round one two and three Ishe smith i had i had him winning rounds four five and six Round seven, I gave to Ishe Smith. Eight went to um, I, after after seven rounds, I had it four three and four in favor of um, Ishe Smith. Round eight, I gave it to Julian J. Rock Williams. Round nine, I gave it to Ishe Smith. You know, he had a nice flurry at the end of the rounds. You know, what I'm saying with some eye catching shots, better punches than what Julian Williams did for the whole round in round nine. But round 10, there was another accidental headbutt. There was actually three in this fight, you know what I mean, that cut up the man Ishe Smith's eye, you know what I'm saying, his his left eye in two different spots, you know what I mean. And Ishe Smith is a guy who's never been cut before, but, you know, that's why he has Stitch Duran in his corner, one of, if, one of, if not the best cut man in the game. And, uh, you know, he tried to stop the bleeding, which he did a good job of it, you know. The bleeding, the, the blood wasn't trickling down into Ishe Smith's eye. But um, round 10, I gave it to um, Julian J. Rock Williams, you know what I mean? That headbutt kind of slowed Ishe Smith down. Ishe Smith wasn't letting his hands go as much. And um, Julian J. Rock Williams, in my opinion, won round 10 in this fight. I had it a draw, you know what I'm saying? In my opinion, these two guys need to do it again. You know, Julian J. Rock Williams being the younger dude in his, in his mid-20s fighting against a, 
Isha Smith was damn near 40, man. You got to give this guy another shot. It's, it's just, that's what has to happen, you know what I mean? I'm sure this fight, whoever won this fight would have ca catapulted them, uh, you know, at least if not into a title contention, at least in an eliminator, you know what I mean? And I'm assuming definitely the IBF route, you know, that's a world title that uh, Ishe Smith has had before, you know what I mean? And that's actually a world title that um, Julian J. Rock Williams has been um, a challenger for, the IBF strap, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, I would like to see this fight a rematch so we could have a, a, a conclusive, decisive winner. 5-5, five, five, you know what I mean? I, I don't want to see Ishe Smith go out like this. You know, the man, they say, got like six children, three of his own, and um, one with the, the young lady he's he's um, engaged. Oh, is he married? He's married to the lady who was there at the fight. They have one child together, and she has two of her own from a previous marriage. So that's a full household right there, you know what I mean? Ishe Smith has only fought once this year. Ain't, ain't fought since September of last year. The man got enough bills to pay, mad kids in the house, you know what I mean? Give this guy another opportunity, J-Rock Williams, PBC, Al Heyman, Floyd Mayweather, whoever promotes and manages these guys, we need to see this fight again, you know what I mean? Because Julian J-Rock Williams, like I said, if I did make a prediction, I would have picked him to win. I don't know nobody on the planet who picked Ishe Smith to win, but Ishe Smith showed and proved why. He is a formidable and durable fighter out here, you know what I mean? Be Marsh Boxer, leave your thoughts and comments. Let me know what y'all thought about this fight. Very good, entertaining fight, despite the um, ridiculous scorecards. Unanimous decision for the man, Julian J. Rock Williams. This fight was very good, man, in Las Vegas. Very competitive and very entertaining. Leave your thoughts and comments. Please let me know what y'all thought about this fight, and let me know actually how you guys scored this fight. Thanks for listening, everybody. Be Marsh Boxing, and I'm gone. Peace.